Hello everyone, this is Revealing Light Tarot and I'm Mary Ann. What a day I've had. Uh, my car broke down an hour and a half away from home. I was visiting my sister in hospital and uh, I, got, I had this breakdown and eventually I got to see her. My car got towed away to the workshop um, and I was able to spend two or three hours with her. So I'm home now um, and uh, my husband had to come and get me and... Um, uh, I'm home and, and ready to get on with my day and uh, have a pleasant evening. Um, so before I get started on other things, I wanted to look at the caravan today, the migrant caravan. Um, uh, I wanted to see if uh, Trump's wedge politics in weaponising the issue of immigration and asylum seeking uh, on the border um, coming from uh, South American countries, whether or not uh, that is having any traction with the voters. Before I go any further, I should say Australia is having its own issues with a, in a similar way uh, where there's uh, increasing pressure on our Prime Minister here to um, get the children off uh, an island called Nauru, uh, which is where they've been detained for years with their parents. Um, so Australia has its own chequered history around asylum seeking and refugees and illegal immigrants. And um, uh, I should say that before I move to uh, the US situation with South America and North America uh, and that movement across the border. Um, of course, there are no easy solutions, are there? Um, I mean, you have to have secure borders. However, uh, this painting of immigrants as, uh, as criminals and, you know, um, it's feeding cons uh, conspiracy theories, and of course we know that um, uh, that has had tragic consequences in this last week or so. So I want to ask, is Trump getting uh, influencing the voters on this migrant caravan uh, issue? In front of the midterms, this is his big situation. Uh, is he actually influencing them? Um, is it getting any traction? So let's just have a look. Is Trump influencing voters in front of the midterms uh, on this migrant caravan. He's uh, said that he's thinking of sending 15,000 troops to the border to stop them entering the country. And then we've got the birthright citizenship uh, issue as well, which I'll get on to throughout the reading. So is uh, this Trump's wedge politics around the migrant caravan um, is it influencing voters before the midterms in any way? Voters, migrant caravan. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, so we've got the Eight of Swords. This is the imprisonment, the bound by certain situations. I think this actually is the um, uh, 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 is the migrant caravan um, because this is so, sort of like uh, restrict, being restricted, being isolated, and also uh, self-imposed. So I mean, these are these, these migrant caravan caravaners. They're coming willingly uh, in search of uh, in search of a of a of a better life um, in terms of who is in the migrant caravan at least um, a certain percentage are farmers who have been forced off their land by the Honduran government um, so this I think is the migrant caravan um, and this aid of shields uh, again is um, I guess it's it's almost as if they're coming for work okay it's sort of like a necessary transition for them across the seas or in this case uh across the land um you know families mothers fathers children uh it's almost like they've they're they're, they're wanting a new start and it, it is around work it is around employment um yeah okay so that's that's their motivation um, the Two of Swords, which is the focus of the situation, is, I think, the voter. And this is, you know, multiple choices. And, and I guess um, pressure being brought to bear as well. Uh, it's almost like, you know, they're weighing up multiple choices. So I think that it is it is of a concern to, to voters. Um, 
you know, because this, this card is the midterms, um, and the hermit, okay, the hermit in the past can be forced reflection, okay, so I think the migrant caravan is actually really making people think, and it's made, it's challenging them in a way, um, I think these issues do challenge, they challenge people to think about their humanitarianism, it, they challenge people to consider what would you do if you were born in another country and you just wanted safety and financial security for you and your family? So, you know, it's sort of like, uh, you know, where do you stand on uh, legitimate asylum seeking? Um, I think that's what it's forcing people to think about. So this reading is indicating that it, that it is provoking thought amongst voters Um Perhaps not in the way that we, we think, perhaps not in the way that Trump thinks, because I think there's uh, it's been fairly transparent what uh, his um, wedge politics and this weaponising of the, of the asylum-seeking issue, where what consequences that has had this week, quite tragic consequences. And the Ten of Shields is the, um, it is the building of, of, of personal wealth. It's like... It's like the family card. It's like your family assets, your home. Um, you know, so again, this is, I think, a card that crosses all spectrums. This is the card because I, what I'm seeing in this reading is actually the, the, migra the migrant caravanners. That's what I'm seeing in this reading. I'm actually seeing that they're, 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 they're coming forward. They're very much in this position. And this is not what I asked, but, but this is what's coming through in the cards. This is how they're feeling. They're, they're traveling, um, for a new life. Um, this is causing some voters to think, uh, but it's also provoking them to consider their own values, their own humanitarianism. And, you know, this again, I think, you know, this reading is not just a superficial reading. I think this is asking us to think about um, about what what I guess uh, what what rights people have. What you know, do they have? They have the right to to be considered as asylum seekers. I mean, these are you know these Hondurans were forced off their forced off their land, forced off their home, um, and I think this is what is at the basis of it. Um, you know what is our what is our i guess values around offering asylum to those that need it those that are fleeing violence those that are fleeing oppression what is our values do do we open the doors what do we do or are we concerned about some sort of loss of our assets or our homes so uh, i think this migrant caravan it's not it's not a simple it's not a simple thing. It's throwing up all these issues for us. It's um, it's really causing us to reflect because here we have, uh, we have Merlin. Um, and I did decide to use my Celtic deck today because I felt really drawn to it. I, I just thought no, the, to use the Celtic deck, that's the one to use today. And you know, Merlin is that magical, mythical. You know, this is the hermit in, in other decks. But in this deck, um, the hermit is Merlin. And, you know, Merlin was a wizard. Um, and so I think that this reading is saying that there is more to this than meets the eye. The migrant caravan is being used by Donald Trump, weaponized, pet prejudiced. It's fanning the flames of, of um, fascism. Um, but at the same time, it's also in right thinking voters, if I can call them that. It's also causing them to stop and think as well. So it is forcing choices upon people. I think that's really what the what the reading is saying. It's saying that these caravanners are very much uh, on the road because they have to be, okay? They've been forced out, Um and they've had they've had they've had this they've had to transition they've had to move forward um yeah uh and of course the 10 of wands uh, is interesting because this is really what i see as the caravanners this is this is the hard work the heavy burdens this is the road that they're traveling in you know to look at look for something else now sometimes with tarot you have to look a bit deeper i asked was trump getting any traction 
This, these cards actually do say that it is causing people to think, but it is it is asking people to think about their humanitarian values. And the migrants are very, or migrants, the um, asylum seekers are very simply represented in this reading. They're represented as um, as people who are coming forward under pressure, uh, you know, because uh, they've been... Uh, I guess their rights have been taken away from them, and this is this is this is who they are. They they don't have much. They they carry with them what they have um, on, on their backs. They all their worldly possessions. Um, the next question I'm going to ask is: Will there be violence at the border? Because that's really what's bothering me. Fifteen thousand uh, troops. Um, you know, carrying guns, you know, you have uh, your Homeland Secretary saying, well, we we won't be, we don't want to use violence on the border at this time. You know, again, with this sort of ambiguity, it was almost like a, like a, a little bit of a threat. Um, you know, it's, it's, again, it's, you know, in terms of the timing, that this comes forward right in front of the midterms, perfect opportunity for uh, Donald Trump to to use it as a wedge uh, and gain votes in the midterms. Um, but it is, you know, it is causing people to reflect. I just should say in Australia, with our situation, there is rising public barometer, which is really forcing our new Prime Minister Scott Morrison. To, uh, he's brought a lot of the children back to the mainland and they've had mental health and physical treatment in hospitals. Um, it's forcing compassion because of the pressure of the, of the electorate on him. We have an election coming up early next year. Um, I just think this migrant caravan at this time, so close to the midterms, almost like made to order for Donald Trump, uh, really is, it's almost like either, I mean, conspiracy theorists would say that, um, you know, that, they, that there's been some kind of pressure brought so that they would come forth at this time. Um, I mean, maybe I should ask the cards that before we go any further. Let's ask that. Um, is there more to the migrant caravan than we, uh, we know? Uh, is there anyone, any other forces involved uh, in bringing these people forward at this time so close to the midterms? What do we need to know about the migrant caravan? Is there any uh, covert, I guess, covert um, agenda um, to, to, bring, to force these people on the road at this time? Um, let's just ask that. I don't want to stray into conspiracy theory territory, but let's let's ask it. Okay, so these things are keep <laughs> they're falling out. The three of wands, um, which jumped out, just jumped out of the pack, um, is uh, is is about teamwork and expansion and travel and commerce and commerce. Okay, well, we know that they were forced off the land due to these large conglomerate, agricultural conglomerate um, industry industries or, or companies, I should say. Um, what else? How, you know, in terms of the divine timing, you know, the Seven of Shields. Well, the Seven of Shields is, is hard work and, and delayed results waiting for results. These are strange cards, really. I asked if there was any... Covert pressure brought to bear, and it seems like there again we've got this inspiration coming forward, this idea of someone's, and then um, you know really some work, some work, work being put into it. Um, the Ace of Cauldrons are the emotions, activating emotions. Um, oh God, and the Magician. Well, this is the trickster. This is about. Uh, this is in the past. This is about. Focused, you know, focused creativities which turns visions and ideas into realities. This could, there could be more to this uh, movement of the migrant caravan at this time than what we initially have thought. 
Okay, the Seven of Wands uh, is um, self-defense and protecting against competition and um, protecting against competition. <laughs> okay, so it is in terms of the timing. It's been uh, as as a wedge a wedge a wedge issue. Uh, it's actually been quite. Um, if from Trump's point of view, quite good timing. But it seems to me there's a little bit more in this than what we think. And the Knight of Swords is coming forward, uh, free freedom, I guess, um, and again, this, this movement. Um, so it kind of suggests that this... this there, uh, look, it's not obvious... To me that there, there was this grand plan to put these people on the road but these cards are a little bit uh, disconcerting because they are saying that these conditions that force the force the um, the migrants onto the road uh, in that you know they're, they're, this is as I said this is the trickster card um, just pull one more yeah okay this is like I mean, look at this card. I mean, she's. I mean, this is the the high priestess, and that is about bringing um, secrets and intuition forward, mystery, secrets, mystery. Mm. It's not straightforward. There could well have been some uh, manipulation of the timing here, either in terms of considering our last reading, the divine timing, in terms of it throwing up these. Uh, forcing us to think about uh, our our humanitarian values, but there could also be because it did point to some commerce, uh, uh, you know, some some reasons, some financial reasons there. So, mm, okay, I'll leave you viewers to use your intuition and your knowledge and your research to as to uh, whether or not there is any coincidences between this caravan reaching on the road, growing. Uh, and the midterms um, and whether that is connected with Trump in any way. It's certainly fortuitous for, for him in terms of using it as a, as a wedge, you know, wedge issue in front of the midterms. Um, I hope that that's not the case. It'd be pretty horrifying if it was. Okay, so will there be any violence at the border? Will any of these caravanas be shot? I mean, I hate to say that. Will there be any violence? Will they clash with troops? What do we need to know? Uh, will there be any violence? Because mm. I just see that image of children crying, which is what I saw when they were separated from their mothers and fathers. Will there be any violence at the border? All right, uh, the Six of Cauldrons is about gifts. Um, and it's it seems to me that, that you know, that... I mean, this, is, this isn't this is a negative card. So, um, I mean, this is, this is really about, um, you know, gifts uh, uh, coming forward. It's, I guess it's the card of, um, of nostalgia and reunions and friendships. So it seems to me like, um, well, so far. Okay, and the Knight of Wands coming forward again. Um, and this is freedom. Okay, so there's some ideals associated with them coming toward the border. Um, Six of Shields. Well, this is this is this of course is. Um, um, I guess, yeah, this is like giving and receiving. This is loans and debts, loans and debts, giving and receiving help. Um, endings and new beginnings. I'm still kind of channeling the, the migrants generally. Five of cauldrons can mean loss. Um, so that's poverty, ill health, financial loss, isolation. It doesn't appear like there's going to be violence. Um, it appears that they'll be processed as they should be processed and balance coming forward in the future. Okay, there's not going to be violence. Whatever, you know, Trump is trying to whip up, um, any, any migrants who actually do make it to the border 
will uh, will be treated according to the law, the law of the land. Um, now we've got to remember that it is. I think they're going. They're not going to be here for an, uh, into. Uh, they're not going to be at the border for another couple of weeks. So by then, the climate may have changed dramatically, and uh, the uh, migrants, asylum seekers, will be will de be dealt with lawfully. Okay. All right. Now he, Trump is talking about this um, rescinding or an executive order to rescind the birthright citizenship. Uh, Paul Ryan's come out and said, "No, that's unconstitutional." Of course, really. All of this talk now is um, really, to me, is showing the desperation of Trump, and that's really what I need to ask. Uh, is this wedge politics regarding the caravaners? Is this birthright citizenship um, issues, which, you know, is a constitutional um, issue? It's not, it's not something that he can change via an executive order. Is this all designed to uh, agitate and create uh, and influence voters? Okay, prior to the midterms. All right. Okay, the page of sword, the truth. Okay, um, that's what that that's what is the signifier card. The fo you know really the focus of the reading is uh, the truth. Okay, so it seems to me that as try as he m might. Uh, people are really focusing on the truth. There's this necessary transition away from Donald Trump um, at the moment, okay? So it's almost like, um, try as he might, it's kind of not working. It might be working with a section of his base, um, the, the, those that, that hold fascism dear. It might be working with them, but I think for the, the right-thinking voter, it's not. They're transitioning away from Donald Trump. Things are going to be happening really quickly. Um, and that's the midterms, okay? And, you know, um, yeah. Okay, six of wands, wow. You know, look at, look at that card. Um, this is victory uh, and good news, okay? So it seems to me that, that this is in the past uh, position, that there's been enough people that have come out and said, you can't do this, this birthright. You can't, you can't do this via executive order. It's like there's just too much... It's, like, it's almost like he, he's desperate. Donald Trump is desperate. And the Eight of Shields came up with our mi migrant caravanners as well. Um, and, you know, this is about uh, hard work um, and creating creating work, um, leaving a body of work. Um, also, um, yeah... There, there's a, there's a, there's the, the weight of Donald Trump's um, record, I, I think, <laughs> which is going against him, which is causing the this necess people to necessarily tra necessary transition away from him. Okay, and the chariot quickness again. Okay, so we've got some quick cards, some quick action cards, um, and uh, um, you know this is this is sort of. I think telling us that the midterms are coming up and, um, and you know, uh, I think it's going to be a changed landscape post-midterms. Um, I asked if he will succeed in, you know, in this birthright citizenship um, that he's, he's, he's trying to, to put forward. And, look, the Queen of Cauldrons, again, the women, Queen of Cups, in other words, this is nurturing and healing, Okay, so he's not, it's not, he's not going to succeed. He's increasingly isolated. The midterms are coming very, very quickly now. Action is coming forward. The, this is the woman, the, the, the often um, I get this in associate, associated with, you know, the self-rule, which is coming forward, uh, which has been in my readings for a, quite a while now, um, which indicated that uh, this was what was rising up in front of the midterms and this would be what would go go against Donald Trump um, uh, 
in the midterms, um, particularly the women vote. Um, and, uh, and also keep an eye on women, um, women candidates as well and see, have a look at how many might be elected because I th I, I'm thinking from these cards that um, there will be, a, you know, they will be successful. There will be uh, quite a, there will be more women in Congress after the midterms. Um, and all of this is going to go uh, against Donald Trump. So, I mean, in summary, uh, I think this is probably one of the key cards and that is people are moving away from Donald Trump. He's becoming increasingly isolated. The migrant caravan is is actually causing us to reflect. Um, there's no two ways about it. It's actually actually causing us to examine our own humanitarian values. However, these cards do not suggest in any way that this wedge politics is working with Donald Trump this time. Uh, and we pulled the Merlin card, and I think there's some energy uh, around all of these events. Um, I think that they're there as tests for us um, and they're there to throw and shed a light on the truth. Um, so that's the reading on the migrant caravan. It was quite, quite complex. There's quite a lot in this whole situation for us. Um, but one thing's for sure, uh, it's not going to work in Donald Trump's favour in the way that he thinks it is. He's incre you know, looking increasingly desperate. All right, viewers, that's our reading for today. Blessings, everyone. Thank you for supporting my channel. Thank you for donating to my channel. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for uh, your warmth and your support. Um, I'll leave that there and I will uh, talk to you soon. Thank you.